Now let's learn how to rearrange the kinetic energy equation. Using a formula triangle, the kinetic energy equation can be rearranged to determine either the mass or speed of the object if we know the kinetic energy. Here's how the formula triangle works. We put the kinetic energy at the top because it's the product of all the other things in the equation. And then in the bottom, we put the thing that the kinetic energy was equal to, which is a half multiplied by the mass multiplied by the speed squared. Here's how the formula triangle works. We imagine that this line in the middle is like a dividing line. And then if we want to find out what the equation is for any one of the quantities we're interested in, we just imagine putting our thumb over that quantity and seeing what the triangle says. So for example, if I wanted to find out the value of the mass, then I would imagine covering up the mass with my thumb and reading off what's left. And what's left is the kinetic energy divided by a half and divided by the velocity or the speed squared. On the other hand, if we wanted to find out what the value of the velocity squared was, then we would just read off the rest of the triangle, which says the kinetic energy divided by a half and divided by m. So that is v squared is equal to the kinetic energy divided by a half m. Let's now take a look at an example where we have to use this rearranged version of the kinetic energy equation. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCSE physics and combined science videos, just click on the snap revised smiley face. Join me today and let's make physics at GCSE a walk in the park.